Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to recreate this look that I have on my face right now. I was scrolling through my videos on my channel and I realized it's been a hot minute since I did a makeup tutorial and a lot of you guys were requesting that I do something with the new Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. So I decided today that I will show you guys how to recreate this everyday daytime glam look using this palette. Now I did consider filming just a dedicated review on this palette. Palette, but I feel like there are so many of those that are currently out there I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen the swatches You've already seen the reviews and what really counts is how the shadows actually perform when you put them on your face So I figured I would just jump into looks and tutorials with the palette and just show you guys how the shadows actually perform And I figured that this daytime glam would be a perfect one to start with because it is a look that will look gorgeous on Every skin tone now. I'm sure most of you guys have seen the palette by now, but if you haven't this is what it looks like. I did go ahead and um, secure my little card to the palette with a very small piece of tape on the back side just so that I would be able to see all of the shades when I'm actually using the palette. But this is what it looks like. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. And of course in this tutorial you guys will see the colors that I decided to use from the palette to create this look. Also, a couple of quick little details about the palette since I will not be doing a dedicated review. The palette does come with 35 brand new, newly formulated shades. It is, of course, by Morphe Brushes in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill, and the palette does retail for $38. It is currently sold out. I know that it sold out on the original launch, and then they did restock it and it sold out again. However, I did um, hear on Jaclyn's Snapchat that she will be, or Morphe will be restocking it. So if I happen to come across a restock date before this video goes live, I will be sure to list that for you guys in the description bar down below. I also quickly wanted to mention to you guys as well that the way that the shadows look on my eyes are literally exactly how they applied with the brush. I did not apply any Fix Plus or any type of shadow enhancing product to my eyelid outside of my original base that I put on my lid, which was my MAC Paint Pot, which I set with one of the matte eyeshadows in this palette. But outside of that, I did not apply any additional products to enhance the color of the shadows. This is what they look like straight off of the brush, and I have to say, I am pretty, pretty impressed. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and jump into showing you guys how to recreate this look. If you are new to my channel, my name is Faye. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I really hope that you enjoy seeing how to recreate this look using the Jaclyn Hill palette. If you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe down below. And let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so per usual, I'm going to start off by priming my eyes. I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Lay In Low, and I'm just applying that all over my lid with a Sigma brush, and then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. This is just gonna help to give us a nice, smooth, even base to work with for our shadows. And for my brushes for this video, I'm going to be using the Ultimate Copper Eye Brush Set from Sigma. This set comes with 13 different brushes and will give you everything that you need to complete a full eye look from start to finish. So first up, I'm going in with the shade Silk Cream, and I'm just going to apply that all over my entire lid to set my eyeshadow base. And then following that, I'm going to be taking the shade Butter, which is a beautiful neutral brown shade, and I'm just going to buff that back and forth in the crease to start to create my transition shade. And then after that, I'm going in with the shade Roxanne. This color is going to go a little bit lower in the crease and is going to start to create that depth and dimension in the crease area. And then after that, I'm just going back in with my fluffy blending brush and making sure that there are not any harsh lines. Following that, I'm gonna go ahead and deepen up that outer corner. I'm using the shade Central Park, which is a really nice, deep, cool-toned brown. And I'm just going to apply that back and forth into my outer V and also start to blend it into the crease as well. But I'm focusing the majority of that color in the outer V. And then I'm going back in with a little bit more of that Roxanne shade in the crease and using that to blend out any harsh lines. So next up, I'm going up with the black in the palette. It's in the shade Abyss, and I'm just lightly applying that to the outer edge right up against that tape that I have on my outer corner just to create a little bit more depth and dimension on that outer area. 
So for my lid, I'm going in with the shade Queen, which is a beautiful gold shade. I'm applying that all over my entire lid, and then I'm also gonna go back in with a little bit more of Central Park and just blend it over top of that transition area to make sure that it all transitions nicely. And then of course, I'm going back in once again with my blending brush for a final blend to make sure that everything transitions together seamlessly. So as you can see, I went ahead and applied my liner and lashes off camera. For the skin, I'm starting off with my Smashbox Primer Water along with a couple of other primers for pore minimizing and oil control. I will have them listed and linked for you guys down below. And then after that, I'm going in with my MAC Prep and Prime Pen in the shade Peach Luster to do a little bit of color correcting. And then to set my primer and my color corrector in place, I'm going in with this powder from Makeup Forever. And I'm just going to press that powder all over my skin before I go in with my absolute favorite foundation from the drugstore. It is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Classic Tan. And once I buff that out, I'm also going to go ahead and apply my concealer and blend it out off camera. And then I'm going in with this loose powder by Maybelline and I'm just going to lightly set underneath my eyes as well as on all of the areas that I applied concealer just to make sure that everything is set nicely in place and does not budge throughout the day. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows off camera. And then following that, I'm gonna go ahead and dust off any excess powder that I have on my face from baking. And then following that, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face as well using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation powder and I'm just going to press that all over my skin using this E1 brush from Morphe. And then once my face is set, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my eyes. So first up, I'm going back into the shade Roxanne and I'm just going to buff that back and forth across the entire lash line. And then I'm going in with the shade Central Park and applying that right up against my lower lashes with a flat definer brush. And this is just gonna help to define my lower lash line and give it a little bit more shape. And then of course I'm going back in with that blending brush and blending everything together. And then for my waterline, I decided to go with a nude just to kind of help to open up the eyes. This also is a nice trick to help your eyes look more awake. And then following that, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the shade Queen and apply that on that inner corner and blend it into those shadows that we just applied on the lower lash line. And then to highlight my inner corner, I'm going in with this beautiful shade called In Light. It's like a champagne goldy kind of shade. It's really beautiful. And I did top it off with a little bit of Queen as well, just to kind of blend all those colors together. And then for my lashes, I use Benefit's Their Real Mascara. And for contour, I'm going into my Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm using the shades Havana and Espresso, and I'm just going to apply those onto my cheekbones as well as my temples and sides of my nose to really bring some shape back into my face. So next up for blush, I'm using Max Peach Twist, and I'm going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back into my contour. And for highlight, I'm using this highlighter palette from Sam Marcel. I'm going to be mixing this bronzy and champagne shade together and applying it to my cheekbones. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this brand or of this highlighter palette, but it is absolutely stunning. Stunning. So I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones as well as down the center of my nose, typical highlighting areas. And then for my lips, the first thing that I'm going to do is line them with Kylie's True, ba True Brown? No, Brown Sugar Lip Liner. And then I'm going to apply the Brown Sugar Liquid Lipstick all over my lips. And then after that, I'm going to also be applying Kylie's Ginger Liquid Lipstick right on top. This has been one of my absolute favorite nudes. I think it looks beautiful on my skin tone. So yeah, I'm just going to mix the two of those together and then set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And that is going to complete this look. Alrighty guys, so here is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing me create it using the Jaclyn Hill palette. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I hope to see you very soon in my next video. Bye.